In StoryBuilder, drafts and depositions are collaborative tools that allow you to create formatted text with document references in line. Drafts can be used to prepare for witness interviews, organize arguments, or outline case strategy. The deposition tool offers additional features, such as chat, a timer, and transcript features like highlighting and promoting excerpts to testimony. The depositions tool can be leveraged before, during, and after a deposition. You can create a new draft from the Drafts tab. If you have already begun working in another word processing program, you can import docx files directly into a draft. To add documents to a draft, you can type the Bates number at the bottom of the Documents tab. You can also add documents to a draft from the timeline in the same way you apply labels to documents. To return to a draft, open it directly from the Drafts tab. Once a document is added to a draft, you can reference the document in the body of your draft as often as you need to. Drafts and depositions can be viewed and edited by any user on the project, allowing your team to collaborate in real time. Documents used in the draft can also be exported as an exhibit list. Everlaw's deposition tool is designed to help facilitate the entire deposition process. As you prepare for a deposition, you can use the deposition view to organize key documents, draft questions, and plan strategy. You can then select some or all of the included documents to generate an exhibit list to be used during the deposition. At the deposition, you can continue to use the deposition view to collaborate and communicate in real time, flag key events with timestamps, and track items to follow up on later. To begin preparing for a deposition, create a new deposition object. You can start with a blank deposition or a copy from an existing draft or depot. Once the deposition object has been created, you can click the Add Details button at the top to add more information about this deposition. You can identify the individual being deposed, build a profile of that person, and add the date and location of the deposition for quick reference. You can interact with documents that you have added to your deposition just like you can more generally in drafts with additional features. Documents included in your deposition can be labeled with an exhibit number, and you can see links to other depositions that reference the same document as an exhibit. During the deposition, you can use the timer to track and timestamp notes you make. If you wish to timestamp your notes while the timer is running, hit Ctrl-M on your keyboard. You can create action items using the Tasks panel. You can communicate with team members who are also StoryBuilder users via the chat. Once the deposition is complete, you can use the Summary tab to prepare a summary of the deposition that will be visible to all users. The Transcript tab can be used to load and view the deposition transcript after the deposition is complete. You can load a transcript into this view by dragging it onto the page. 
When first loading a transcript, you'll be prompted to format the citation. The citation will be used for any testimony objects that you create. The transcript view will attempt to automatically link any exhibit references included in the text of the transcript to documents in the deposition. If you have already labeled your documents with exhibit numbers within the deposition, they should connect automatically and you can quickly jump to wherever they are referenced in the transcript. If there is an exhibit that does not have a document associated with it, the linking tool will prompt you to associate a document with that exhibit number. You can highlight snippets of text in the transcript and apply notes and labels. If you would like to reference the text elsewhere in your story, you can promote the text to a testimony object by clicking Add to Story. Once you've promoted transcript highlights to testimony, you can work with them in the timeline, drafts, or other depositions. You can filter the timeline to see all objects, documents, or testimony objects. Testimony can be added to other drafts and depositions where you can cite the excerpt or copy the text into the draft itself. Thank you for watching this tutorial.